Walker here. Um, so I'm with uh, Mark French from Cepasoft. Uh, real quick, uh, so for those of you that don't know who Cepasoft is, Cepasoft is, uh, they essentially write the MES modules for ignition um, by inductive automation. Um, they're in the second iteration of the OEE downtime module, which is 2.0. It's been out in production for two years or whatever, right? Um, and we're gonna be talking about the business connector module, but what I wanna do is give uh, Mark French a chance to give us his 30 second elevator pitch about the company and then we'll we'll dig into the new module. Thanks Walker. Uh, Mark French, Director of Operations at Cepasoft. So as Walker mentioned, we're a strategic partner with Inductive Automation. Uh, our MES modules run on the Ignition platform and we're augmenting that with some uh, utility modules that address ERP and business system connectivity. So uh, we're uh, you know, coming from integrator roots, trying to uh, address the pain points, just like Ignition, for integrators when it comes to MES. And in recent uh, months and years, we're focusing more on um, enterprise class systems, multi-site, uh, you know, large implementations. And so we've got a number of things coming out here in the next couple months that uh, directly address that, both Business Connector and a raft of features that we call Enterprise, uh, MES Enterprise, that we're adding to our products at no additional cost. So the Business Connector module is something that uh, we happen to be incredibly excited about. Uh, as most of you guys know, the core of our business is the upper layer of the stack, layer three, layer four, layer five. We do a lot of MES to ERP implementations. For those of you who already develop with Cepasoft modules and Ignition, you already know how difficult it is without a Business Connector module to connect to uh, ERP systems like SAP, which is the production dominant force in the market. So I did have a chance to see the webinar here about a month ago. Um, the Business Connect, we had one of our clients as an SAP house, uh, nine of their developers were on that call with us. We got a chance to see the Business Connector in action. I'll, I'll give you the, the high level uh, the high level overview of the Business Connector module, you essentially connect to the ERP, you go ahead and download, if you're using SAP, you can go ahead and download the BAPI, and then the module itself will parse the BAPI for you. So you can browse all the fields that exist up in SAP. If they add a different a custom field, you'll be able to see that field and then map it to your data model inside of Ignition, which I don't have to tell you, if you're already doing enterprise class uh, MES implementations with Cepasoft is a huge game changer. The value proposition for me is cutting that integration time down from six months in the first engagement down to maybe two months to get all that work done, which is helping clients do more with less. But do you want to go a little bit more in depth into A, what gave you guys the idea, who did you work with, and what are the core functionalities of the Business Connector? So this was really customer driven. Uh, you know, we used to say, hey, we're on Ignition, Ignition talks to everything, so use a database query, use some Python, use web services. And then what winds up happening is people write, you know, 4,000 line scripts to do that, and that's just a bear to maintain. And, uh, you know, things are spread out, and so we said, you know what? the market really wants this product. And so that's uh, that's where we said, okay, we need to map this out. And uh, we worked with 4IR mm -hmm. to uh, to give us some of that SAP uh, expertise that we lack. So yeah, that's been a great relationship. And again, you know, we know MES, we're not SAP experts. Right. And so, you know, hey, we need to bring in that expertise, but that's been really great. And it's not just SAP. Uh, that's why we called it Business Connector and not ERP Connector or uh, something like that. And so you can build uh, data flows that involve SAP, that involve other systems, web services, database queries, uh, and closing charts, all kinds of great stuff. We're not gonna go into all those details, but um, it's very flexible. And then it has an intuitive visual mapper. So like Walker said, you can get from one uh, data schema to another. And that's, uh, again, just a, just a bear to do manually, and we wanna make that um, seamless, automatic, bring the skill level required to implement this down from someone who's an expert in both systems and all intermediate technologies to someone who can you know, follow the tutorial and just kind of point and click. How long did it take to develop the module? So you guys are in private beta right now. Right. Expect to see the module uh, for sale in the next two months or so, yep. right? Um, from start to finish, how, how much time, development time, do y'all have to put into this? Oh, this is, this is at least a year okay. uh, involved. I mean, this is a... Uh, there's a lot under the hood here. Yeah. Uh, business logic. Uh, do you want to touch a little bit on the functionality in developing business logic within the business connector itself? Do you want to talk a little bit about that? The, uh, the paradigm is that of, of charts. And so, um, you know, let's say you need to uh, iterate through what SAP spits back. 
associate that with information from another system, those can be built into the charts, um, standardized, and then uh, then called from within Ignition on pretty much any event. So on a, on a timer basis or schedule basis or uh, event basis. So um, does that answer your question, yeah, Walker? It, it, it looked to me in the webinar that it was more it was it was similar to sequential function charts. Yes. You could basically build business logic using an FS an SFC methodology, right? Exactly. Um, the other thing I noticed was that we can you can we can essentially talk to any ERP, right? So if there's a, a RESTful interface or a SOAP interface from that yes. ERP, we can use your web services module to connect to that. That ties in natively. Yep. And then the business connector can can do all the handle all the parsing for you, yeah. right? Is there anything else? Any other products you guys have coming down the pike that you want to touch on? MES Enterprise, perhaps, or uh, anything else that I'm not already aware of? You know, last year at the Ignition Community Conference, we mentioned the uh, OE Lite module, so you'll see that later this summer. Yeah. Um, that's you know really your edge of network running on Ignition Edge uh, or on you know Big Boy Ignition, <laughs> regular Ignition, um, and that's a really lightweight, no scheduling. Um, you know, in-memory database version of OEE. Yeah. So there's some applications that call for that, and they don't need the, the full uh, OEE uh, feature set. So that's that's coming, and like I mentioned, there's uh, the uh, MES Enterprise feature set that we're adding to the product. The Some of the nice things there, and uh, we'll be putting up some media on that, is a uh, built-in monitoring component yeah. to monitor each MES server and see MES-specific um, you know, utilization of resources, analysis, response times, how many milliseconds, okay. min, max, mean, standard deviation. So you can really drill down um, into your system and see how it's performing. Um, and I think that's pretty critical when you're administering, you know, a large scale multi-site uh, implementation. Uh, we also surface all that data in tags so you can build your own dashboards, use the alarming functions, all that kind of stuff. Excellent. It also affords an internal structure where you can add your own monitoring, um, you know, timers and values and things like that to further build that out. Full audit log, uh, you know, change log uh, now for all your MES objects. So, you know, especially customers in, far in the pharma space and increasingly in other regulated spaces, uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff is critical. So, you know, who changed that configuration? At what time? What did they change it to? That's all recorded. So that makes me want to bring up a point. So the biggest advantage OE 2.0, in my opinion, is the shift from looking at the production model as a single resource to looking at the production model as a as a group of resources, where you could add each line, all the every every level layer of the ISA 95 data model yeah. is treated as a different object, uh, as a different resource in the production model, which is one of the biggest, and on the nuts and bolts side, it's one of the biggest advantages OE 2.0. So, uh, Mark, thanks for your time. So if you guys want to take a look at Sepasoft's modules, go to Sepasoft.com or I recommend that you go to Ignition's website, go to the strategic partnership uh, module showcase, and you'll get a chance to download and, and play with the modules all you want.